So I want to talk a little bit about how do you determine whether or not your space is good enough to home share. This is different than the lecture I did before about whether or not you have the right environment to participate in Airbnb and home sharing. Before we talked about whether or not your market is strong enough, because that is a larger pre-qualifier than whether or not your space is good enough. And similar to my thoughts on whether or not your market's good enough, I think in the case of your space, again, it's something that you should look at optimistically. In the vast majority of cases, you can rent out your space, and it is actually possible. I think that in some cases, you might need more effort to make it to a point where it's ready to be rented. But I've rarely seen situations where it's an absolute no, you can't rent out this space. As long as we've established that there are people looking for spaces in your town and people are actually booking, then it's just a question of what are you going to rent out and whether or not you have the correct setup. And like I said, it's not particularly strenuous to meet these requirements. I think it's very much an oddity when I see a space that cannot be rented out at all. The first thing I want you to do is imagine, just kind of in your head, do you want to rent out part of your space, or do you want to rent out the entirety of your space? Now, what you take into consideration with this is that if you're renting out part of your space, you're going to be hosting. You're going to focus more on the experience with the guests. It's going to be a little bit more active, but at the same time, you get to live in your apartment while this is happening, so you don't have to relocate or you don't have to plan this around the times that you're gone. I think it goes without saying that in these types of situations, you obviously cannot charge as much. However, you still live in your space, so you don't have to incur the cost of finding somewhere else to stay. Now, the flip side of this is, well, what if you want to rent out the entirety of your space? It might be the case that you travel frequently or you would like to travel more frequently. It might be the case that you know somewhere where you can stay for free and you can rent out your space when that's available and pocket the difference. That's also quite common. The most common combination of this that I see are people who are interested in both. They would like to rent it out while they are there and they'd also like to rent out the entire thing while they are gone. Typically, also, I like to suggest that if you are interested in renting out the entirety of your apartment, also consider renting out a section of your apartment. And I'll talk about that later in the strategies section, um, but it has to do with the fact that you may not get 100% fill rates on your entire apartment, but if the quality of your apartment is high enough, you can actually make the rate for an individual room high enough to cover your rent expenses or whatever fixed expenses and still make it worth it to run out the entire place like that, or at least you know, then make a, uh, a decision at the moment whether or not you want to stay. Now, if you're someone that fits into the first category, there's a certain set of guidelines that you should take into consideration when you're thinking about whether or not you can rent out your space. The number one thing I would point out is that you need to take into consideration how you see the interaction between you and your guests. 